Yeah, man, where is my Iowa Hawks at, man? You feel me with my Iowa Hawkeyes at, man? Throw a like, man, if you a Hawkeye Nation fan, man. Let, let me know if you're an Iowa Hawkeye fan, bro. I got to know, man. Y'all got to represent, bro, because these boys putting it on in the city and the nation and worldwide. They letting them know what's good, bro. But, hey, we on episode two. Season 3 of the Heartland. So we seen it last little episode, man. This, that was preseason. You know what I'm saying? They had everybody out there. Let you know who was going to be the stars. But they ain't have my boy Riley Moss out there, man. He a star. I ain't going to lie. They, they should have put my boy Riley Moss in the little camera for a little bit. So, bro, what I further do, man, just shut the... You know what I'm saying? Shut me out and out and click play. <sighs> hey. Look at that heart, man. Three and a half years ago, the marketing department with athletics approached us about the possibility of, of working together where athletics could show their concern and commitment to conservation and yeah, to so the Iowa Birds about, Breaks. We are the Hawkeyes. So we, be little, we got little, excited little about zoo that. Presentation, to, right? to really begin that. And then having Ryan and Holly on staff here who are Master Falconers, perfect people oh, said to Ma lead Master this initiative of taking these birds to serve as uh, our Raptor Ambassador uh, Program team. What got me started in working with Birds of Prey um, was that I discovered falconry um, in about 2011. And so from there, I became an apprentice falconer and um, falconer. was an apprentice for two years. I ain't never heard of that. During that time. And then I became a general falconer. That's my first time ever hearing. And, I'm, I'm, um, I'm getting education while I'm watching the so, Hawkeye, but um, say the falconer. So yeah, that I've always loved birds my entire life, and so when I discovered <laughs> falconry, I it was really exciting to me because I thought, wow, this is. I mean, light up. Pray, Pick your eyes out. That's boy. possible. So Look I've at been the claws at the Raptor Raptor Project for um, just over a year now. I've been. I'm a master falconer. I've been a falconer for about ten. Look years. at their feet. And, maybe they, uh, maybe they, uh, Iowa is, for being is yellow and black, have to be yellow and black because of the falcon, falcon or the hawk guy, like the, the hawk guy, the hawks, be, uh, the have, eagles, uh, eagles, they feet, uh, rehabilitation you see they feet, they yellow, uh, an education permit. so maybe that's why uh, they be yellow and black, permits, have uh, banning sense. permits, so tons of permits, so you need to have all the expertise to, to kind of manage all those permits. I hate that. I the little screen. I we have three that, raptors bro. in our program cu currently. We have two red-tailed hawks, Hercules two and Hercules three. Uh, Hercules two is a female red-tailed hawk. She's a dark morph uh, color. She's almost completely black. And then uh, the the uh, her brother actually is Hercules three, and he's uh, an intermediate form of red tails. Red tails come come in all different types of colors from very light almost white birds to uh, completely black like Hercules 2 so uh, these two are one of these guys Hercules 2 has an injured eye and uh, that's because she was bred in captivity uh, by a first-time parents and one of the parents stepped on her eye uh, and uh, injured the eye so what? she came to us uh, and will be staying here for a while that's crazy. Uh, we also have a peregrine falcon named uh, Tiger Hawk. So Tiger Hawk, uh, the, you, people ask why is that a uh, why is a falcon a hawk? Uh, so uh, a peregrine falcon in the past used to be called a duck hawk. So really, all falcons were are, or are still hawks, but not all hawks are falcons. So mm. learn a little bit too, man. While I'm checking out my hawk eyes. I, I like it. Kinnick Stadium and Duke Slater Field where this afternoon Iowa and Indiana meet as ranked opponents for the first time in 30 years. And for the first time in almost two seasons, this grand old building will have 70,000 screaming Hawkeye fans in its seats or standing anxious to dance once again to back in black. It was November 23rd of 2019. Iowa beat Illinois here at Kinnick Stadium 19 to 10. That was 652 days ago. And we have not heard noise like this since then. This is the crystal clear short definition of what home field advantage is yeah. one of the great venues. Kenneth was rocking that day, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. They had that job on Fox Sports. I was so tuned, bro. I was tuned before the game even kicked at all. Like, <laughs> trying to tell you, bro. 
And the season is underway at Kinnick. Charlie Jones takes it two yards deep. He's going to bring it out. Heads to the middle of the field. Good blocking. Gets the yeah, Charlie. Turn, yeah, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Hey, Charlie got it right, though. I ain't going to lie. Charlie started it off. Didn't CG with the bit run right hook. Huh? I'm trying to tell you. He was out of there. Out of there. T TD. TG. I'm trying to tell you. They weren't ready, bro. They was not ready, bro. Look at Darrell, what is he doing? I said that get your hands off me before you get me COVID. What great blocking and he jumped outside. Look at that boy. Out of here. Incredible. That safety had an angle on him and he just outran it. Petra saw something because he jumped up there and they did a quick snap. Just a brief huddle up and they Look at them boy rocking and getting it, but they kept putting the camera up to them boy. Hey, they were pipe. They were hitting the wall like that's all was pipe, bro. Third down. Oh yeah, we was at this gym. Little little Penny Jr. at him. Over the screaming at him. Here it is. Throw, throw it right to us, Riley. Riley, out of there. Pit sit. Pit sit. Yee. That boy, you knew it was over with, son. Six a year ago, he's got one early this year. All right, all that man Riley Moss is not one of them, bro. Really what a start! Oh, man. I like the way Iowa play defense. Like, I like the way they, they always press him, bro. They always press him. They never play soft co coverage for real, bro. They always press him, regardless if it's a man cub or it's, it's a zone cub. Them boys are always pressing, bro. I love it. Nothing lead with 12:45 to go. Look, bro, like, dang, can it really rockin'? I ain't see can it like this in 1970. <laughs> Here's Petrus in the pistol. Indiana blitzing. Petrus throws. He going into uh, Laporta. Yeah, I know it. I would, I would tune in, bro. Would y'all tune in? I don't think y'all would tune in. I was watching the whole game, bro. Y'all wouldn't tune. He was throwing that thing to Laporta at will. Like, there was nothing they could do to stop him. Like, why not? Here's Petrus. Rolls out right. Fires. Charlie Jones. At the 15 and flung forward for the first time. That jump will really. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie. That's all right, though. That play. That jump was like right there, bro. Like, the, yeah, like literally that last little spin would got him that first down, bro. Jawan Burgess, the safety, looked like a hula hoop around Charlie Jones' waist. Second down, six. He said he looked like a hula hoop, bro. Yeah, Big Pet gonna dive in that end zone. Dive in that end zone, Big Pet. We got him diving in. Hey, airborne! Hey! Hey! Look at that boy, man. That hard work, man. Jit went airborne. <laughs> I know he was scared, low key, till he fell. was safe. She like, damn. They all little caught my face. What I like the most about like the, that game in general, bro, even to like the fact that when he had Kenny, I I to leave at the end of the first quarter, how they waited to the the hospital. You know what I'm saying? That's hard, bro. That that's lit right up, bro. For for real. Here's Goodson. Juke stepping inside for a couple now. Balls out. Yeah, ball. came out. Apparently, well, really he was free. down, but they was talking Indiana about, bro, he was down, bro. And, so and then, oh, um, do. bro, bro was down, bro. And they didn't even really take a good look. They was trying to say inconclusive evidence, like, bro, he clearly, if I see this man on the ground and then the ball pop out, how you don't? Turned Iowa over and the Hawks. Send the defense back onto the field. Five receivers, three by two. That joke slipped blew me on my boy. <laughs> Ivory had got no fumble. Give me that. We out of there. <laughs> that bit Riley Moss out there looking like, like swipe. <laughs> like swipe of the fox out of there, dude. He, look at Jet falling. He ain't need, <laughs> He wasn't going to be able to catch that no way. You know, when he was interviewed this week, Dolph, he said, I love to play that press coverage. Come on, what I tell y'all? Take that receiver on, 
in press coverage. Unbelievable. That press coverage is something else, bro. Listen, if you playing, if y'all playing press the whole game, but it's hard to get comfortable, bro. Not only do you gotta wait for your receivers to get open, you gotta you gotta hurry up and get the ball out your hand. Then no boy coming in that. Look, no boy coming. <laughs> no boy, give me that. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Three picks, bro. But that, bro, Iowa was so key, bro. Kenneth were rocking. Here's a pass over the middle pot. What a throw. What a catch by Laporta. Third down and ten. They're blitzing. Petrus dumps it up. Screen play. Good yep. Set. He's at the 20. Yep. 15. First down at the seven yard line. Here's the we let it. I ain't gonna say we let our foot off the gas a little bit, bro. But it was it, and we have to score like that to win no more. All you gotta do is control the tempo, control the game. This is a high octane, quick scoring offense, though, that Indiana has. So the Hawks need to keep the foot on the accelerator. The Look, keep the foot on the accelerator. The Watch the, the defense, Hoosiers. though, bro. Fry out wide right. And this, they was almost going to score a touchdown. Look, all on the air, bro. Our first and I think, bro, missed the uh, field goal. Redshirt freshman from I think he missed Illinois. that field goal. He's the lone setback. Hawks go double tight. They're gonna run right. Lamar Jump over him. Throw a block. Ski. Hurdles a <laughs> submarining defensive Ski. back. He got about three yards with that high Trying hurdle. to tell you. Out of the hold of Ryan Gersande. Here's Spiewax. Them good. Send back. And it's right through. 34. Trying to tell you. Iowa. So all we had to do control the control the. Oh, so he made that field goal. All I had to do was control that little tempo, man. Control the clock. That's what we had to do. Team over the you know what? And you don't know what's crazy about that job the most. My boy, uh, Stephen Carr, Stephen Carr, bro, who uh played with USC. He transferred to play with Indiana. I ain't find that out until I'm like watching. I'm like, bro, who is this running back? And they kept saying Carr. And I'm like, hold on, bro. I know this is not Stephen Carr from USC. This man transferred from USC. <laughs> See how they get a battery. Oh my God! Look at coach. Look at coach, bro. I love it. Huh? Huh? Yo. Hey. God. I like that. So my, oh, we back and hey, we back to the Raptors and the Falcons. So the Hawks. Tiger Hawk <laughs> is uh, is Tiger our, Hawk. the Iowa logo, uh, which features it features a peregrine falcon. So that's why we named him Tiger mm. Hawk to represent and uh, quickly have people understand that hey, this is that bird. And then uh, mm. Hercules two and three. Hercules, uh, there Hercules. Was a Hercules one. Uh, previously Hercules. that was brought to athletics before uh, in. You know, Welcome to Kenny. 30, 40 years Hercules. Ago, and uh, now uh, now we're bringing Hercules 2 and 3. Hercules don't want to kin it before me. Tough. Yeah, so this started uh, back in 1985, um, five years before I came on the scene. Um, I'm trying to tell you, my time to get prey. Uh, Be it, bro. I'm trying to tell you, I'm going to a Hawkeye game, bro. And then to have some. Uh, Birds that couldn't be released to be used for educational. Look that bird. And as the years went on, I just made a bird called them Hawkeyes come and, and get y'all. Each bird has its own story that tells, um, uh, you know, something about the habitat or the needs that these uh, birds need no. in the wild. So we've been using <laughs> birds ever since 1985 to tell those conservation stories and to encourage people to do what people were made for, and that's to serve and protect the wild. What is the mission of the Ratner Ambassador Program? So the goal program? is to, again, really spark action for people to um, to notice birds of they prey in birds. Iowa and kind of the challenges that they face here in Iowa and that there there's things that they can do. We really would like to um, tear down these old mews, um, these old bird enclosures that we have and build new bird exhibits that will make it easier for us to take care of the raptors and mm. improve the lives of the raptors here already. So raptors um, so that's one of the things that we're hoping to gain. Birds and uh, old dinosaurs. So I'm guessing I'm looking assuming, forward to it I guess, as, yeah. uh, you know, we'll be able to reach a very wide variety of uh, Iowans, some of which may have heard about Iowans. raptors before and heard about the la land ethics 
uh, surrounding that leads to the conservation of raptors and some of them have not. So, so this uh, allows us and gives us an opportunity to, to reach those subpopulations that uh, would normally not hear, normally not be at the Raptor Project to hear about all these things. There are so many people who uh, are unaware of the wild areas that we have still left here in Iowa. Iowa was an amazing state pre-settlement. Obviously, indigenous people lived here for thousands of years before European settlement. Um, so what I'm excited about is, is maybe using this as an opportunity to get people to re-engage with what's wild out there and to, to not only be excited about these particular raptors and these particular species, but then all the things these uh, birds um, represent. They're kind of icons that tell stories of what the needs are in the environment. So hopefully uh, the folks that, that enjoy the birds that we have here, yes, that they enjoy the birds, yes, they want to conserve raptors, but then they realize that raptors are just the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. of all the things that the environment needs to, to thrive. Hey, that's why you need to learn about stuff like that though. So we got about like, what, four minutes left? Tough. I'm liking these, man. I don't want them to end, bro. E, E, E. And I saw the quarterback before the snap kind of looking down the boundary, so I knew something was up, and and number one ended up running, you know, the quick out, and I was kind of sitting over top of it. Let him know. Um, you know, able to make the tackle if, if he threw it, and he did throw it, um, and I was just kind of in the right place at the right time, and the ball popped up off the receiver, and, you know, I, I grabbed it and, and took it back, and it just happened so quick. Can't I didn't realize what you. happened until, you know, I was on the bench. I was like, wow, you know, that's kind of crazy. I, I came down with that, and it was fun, you know, celebrating with my teammates and stuff, so. That boy Riley Moss is like. Um, I was just kind of sitting back <laughs> hey. and, and reading the quarterback, and, Man, and you know, he's nice, bro. He, he turned his shoulders like now, so I broke on it, and you know, that was a quick three-step read, and and you know, uh, made a play on the ball and, and ran it back. So um, it, it was pretty. It was a pretty easy read, and and I just trusted my instincts, and and that also happened, you know, very fast too. So, uh, but it was it was. It was a good Jit feeling. Slick, you know, after hey, the game slick, and, cool and, back, and Jit, You know what I'm saying? Cool lad, little dude. You know, doing my part for the for the victory. From pre-snap, I had seen that they had both safeties uh, rotated to the field and just left the corner by himself in the boundary. Yeah, so TG. It was all about the uh, cool lad, to Jit too. Assignment. Look at him. Laporte get on the corner, and that's what they did. And the corner made a, a bad decision of going inside instead of keeping it contained. So she never did that. Ain't cut it? down on Sam. I just make went him pay to, uh, to the outside and broke free. Make them pay, TG. The touchdown was a quarterback draw. Uh, it was called. You know, we practiced it all week. We, we knew if we got down in the red zone, um, there's a chance that they would play a, a coverage that was really advantageous for a quarterback draw. So, uh, you know, just it was about the you know really good call by Coach Brian. Um, really well executed up front by the lineman and then Tyler Goodson going in there and blocking a linebacker and hey. the rest of the season <laughs> just gotta run forward and uh, get in the end zone. Hey, this series is hard, bro. I got hurt 2019, so I wasn't able to make the trip. Um, uh -oh. So this is my first time, you know, starting on the defense, uh, playing Iowa State. And oh, you know, yeah. I grew up in Ankeny, which is 15 minutes from Ames. So most Dang. of, you know, my friends and, and so the fans are Iowa, Iowa, Iowa State fans. Um, and, and they're rooting yeah, they for me, you know, the but it, it'll be nice to They want to get the grand, yeah. Because I've always, you know, disliked uh, Iowa State, just growing up an Iowa fan, you know. So, Hate them. Um, you know, I'm excited know to, I'm, you know, go up there. I'm the same way about Georgia. I I will never root for Georgia, bro. I'm a Florida Gator fan. I will never root for Georgia. Now I'm an Iowa fan. We, we never respect Cyclones. We're going to beat them even on the game, you feel me? Don't respect them. And finally play against uh, the Cyclones and – and you know, play against some of my buddies who who play for Iowa State. So it's gonna be exciting for sure. And he got friends who play with Iowa State. This has been a presentation from Lear. Oh, that's another episode down, bro. Hey, this series is getting way too, hey, way too good, bro. You know we finna get on. Hey, they already got episode three out, so we finna check that one out. You know what I'm saying? We wanna keep dropping this heat, man. Like, like I said, every episode, man. If you're an Iowa fan, if you're a Hawk fan, man, throw a like. Comment to the channel if you got something to say. And so to the channel, man. By the way, you feel me? But hey, on some real for real, for real, for real news. Stay tuned, you feel me? <laughs>